So moving on to part B, this question is rather simple. All we have to do is to implement this recursion formula to derive h5 and h6. So in the previous problem, we are, we've already found h3 and h4. So we're going to use this recursion formula and the results from part A to find h5 and h6. So I've written the results down. So this is these are the results we got from the last problem, h3 and h4. And now we're going to use this recursion formula to derive h5 and h6. So using the recursion formula, h5 of y is equal to 2y times h4 of y minus 2 times 4 h3 of y. So in this case, n is equal to 4. So we just substitute 4 for the n. So now we can just substitute the results back in. So we have 16y to the power of 4 minus 48y squared plus 12. And then here we have minus 8. And then h3 of y, that's equal to 8y to the power of 3 minus 12y. So combining these terms, we can just expand this bracket. We have 32y to the power of 5 minus 96y to the power of 3 plus 24y. And then we have minus 64y to the power of 3 plus 96y. So we can now we can combine these, combine these terms. So we have this y to the power of 5 term. We can combine these uh, y to the power of 3 terms. That's just equal to 100, negative 160 y to the power of 3. And then we can combine these uh, terms with, uh, with the y's. So we get plus 120y. So there you have it. This is the answer. This is h5 of y. So now we're going to take this one step further. So now we're going to go on to derive h6. So it's in order to derive h6, we're going to have to use this result. So we're going to have to use h4 and h5. So we're going to use the recursion formula. So h6 of y is equal to 2y times h5 of y minus 2 times n. So in this case, n is equal to 5. So we just substitute it in times h4 of y. So now we can substitute these two Fermi polynomials straight in. So from the results that we just obtained, h5 of y is equal to this expression over here. So 32y to the power of 5 minus 160y to the power of 3 plus 120y. And then for the h4, we just substitute this straight in. So 16y to the power of 4 minus 48y squared plus 12. So now all we have to do is to expand these brackets. So this term here, we get 64y to the power of 6. For this, we get minus 320y to the power of 4. And then for this, we get plus 240y squared. And then for these terms, I have minus 160y to the power of 4 plus 480y squared minus 120. So now all we have to do is just to combine these terms. So we have 64y to the power of 6, and then we have these y to the power of 4 terms, so we get minus 480y to the power of 4, so we can just cancel these out. And then now we have the y squared terms, these over here, so we can combine those to get 720y squared, and then at last we have this term, minus 120. So this is going to be the answer, this is h6 of y.